Hello everybody, it's Evan Irwin again. It's June 28th, 2006. I'm playing game two of a three game set against uh, Blue Green White with V2 Gazis, Wood Elves, Kegas, Kodamas, you know, the whole lot of them. Um, what would you want to sideboard in against a deck like this? Would you rather take out the hit and runs? Uh, I think I would because they're getting rid of V2 Gazi, uh, or they would just be getting, you know, V2 Gazi chumped, as it were. Uh, they're fantastic in the early game, though. Uh, so I think I would rather get rid of Cry Contrition, which is great against permission decks, but they're more of aggro control like I am. So I think I'm going to bring in 3 Persecute, which is fantastic for multicolor decks like that one. Uh, I also definitely need to bring in the Pithy Needles, uh, one Pithy Needle for that, for uh, a Cry of Contrition, and I'll take out a Hit and Run for another Pithy Needle. I've got Last Gasps, i got some Eradicates, which are fantastic. Uh, would like to play with some Eradicates. Hmm. I think I'll get rid of ooh, two Guild Mages. Sounds kind of bad. I like the Squilling Devils because they have fear and nothing in this deck can block it. Um, probably all right. Two Rakdos Guild Mage for to eradicate. All right. So I'll be playing first this round. That's pretty good to me. I'll keep it. Little less. Let me get a first turn Pith and Eagle if I'd like it, but I don't think I will. I think I'll wait to see what he's got for me. Should have let off with a blood crypt. Uh, I had Pith and Needle on the brain. Wasn't thinking. Which is unfortunate. Oh, look at me. I got lucky. I'm going to pay a life and play Squealing Devil. My turn. This gives him a 10 turn clock. Ooh, scary. Either way, that is an unblockable creature that nothing in his deck can stop beyond bounce uh, or jit tokens. Such as a jit right there in front of me. Um, I'm sorry for not explaining my hand here. Uh, currently I have a Rakdos Carnarium, a Persecute, a Blood Crypt, a Rakdos Guild Mage, a Pithy Needle, and Pyrexian Arena. Um, I'm going to swing for two here with Mr. Squealing Devil. Alright, and I'm going to tap the Sulfur Springs, play the Pithy Needle on Umazawa's Jit. And then play the Rakdos Carnarium to be up a mana next turn. And say go. Uh, funny thing about the Karoos, some people don't really understand that you're laying one land to provide twice the mana. Uh, while it's not saving you that much in tempo, uh, it should save you uh, in other areas. Such as, uh, obviously getting out dragons early, getting out uh, you know, ink eyes early. I mean, I'm about to get a you know, turn four first cue, which is fantastic, however you slice it. Okay, he's obviously a little mana screwed, um, possibly. He just laid his third land and played a carbon curiated, so I'm going to persecute green. Neat, he's got another Jit and a Kaga, and a creature that can't block Squealing Devil. So that's good for me. Again, he now has eight turns to live. Okay, he plays a land or elf in a breeding pool. That means his hand uh, is Kaga Island Yavamaya Coast and something else I can't recall immediately. Um, I draw another Phyrexian Arena, so now I have two of those, a Rakdos Guild Mage, a Blood Crypt, and Numazawa's Jit. I'll swing for two unblockable. Okay, play the Blood Crypt. Lay the arena, say go. Um, at this point, I'm extremely happy. Um, I've got my eradicates in, uh, even for the Rakdos Guild Mage, which doesn't do a whole lot against this deck, uh, particularly because there's so many tokens or so many little creatures. They're either small or huge, as it were. And he has a much faster clock than I do with a new Kega. However, I'm about to ink eyes on him, but all he has for me is a Wood Elf. So, with that said, whoa, I drew Ink Eyes and Giant Solifuge, which is fantastic, obviously. Alright, so I'm going to swing in with the Squilling Devil, and 
I'm not going to. I need to ninjutsu any guys here. One, two, three, four, five. All right. I can search my library for a forest that I don't have. Hey, look at that. I was about to draw a carnarium. I don't like it mattered. At this point, uh, Mr. Wood Elf is just a chump blocker. And that's what he does. Ink Eyes is going to be a huge regenerating beat stick. And I'm curious if he's actually going to leave creatures un not going to attack with Kaga, for example, uh, in an effort to let me or to get me to swing with Ink Eyes. Which, of course, I would never do because that's just silly. Um, he taps out five mana for Kodama the North Tree. I'm okay with that. Okay, I draw another Pithy Needle and another Phyrexian Arena. So I now have Pithy Needle, Phyrexian Arena, Giant Solifuge, Squealing Devil I just picked up thanks to Ninjutsu, Uma's Always Jit, Rakdos Guild Mage, and Phyrexian Arena. I uh, would love to see some land, but that's how it goes. I'm currently thinking. Hmm. If he blocks with the Kaga, I have to give up my Ink Eyes. And that sucks. So, should I lay the Pithy Needle down on Maloku? Or should I wait? Does he even play Maloku? I guess it'd be silly not to. But. I'm going to play the Squealing Devil and pump it once, two, three. Um, uh, all right, and with your generation mana still up, I'll end my turn. At this point, he has some huge monsters on his side of the table, but he's also at nine. Uh, this is another point where I'm sure some people are going to go, why don't you play with burn? Um, the idea is to have fantastic tempo-based creatures and not worry about burn so much. And this is where Squealing Devil actually shows me, uh, for the first time ever, how fantastic he can be. I'm going to play Squealing Devil and one, two, extra to make that a four, one... Five, six, six, one, swing. So he is dead next turn if he does not do something about the squealing devils. Uh, he has, it was always Jit, and I don't even know if he plays repeal, any sort of bounce creature or any sort of bounce spells. Sure, game three. So that was game two. That showed that uh, my sideboarding uh, looked pretty decent to me. Uh, my pithy needles did their job exactly. I did not draw my eradicates, but it sure would have been nice for that Kega, particularly because he had no counter magic. Uh, please tune in for game three.